Hi, my name is Ricardo Böhme and I'm working as an application engineer for our flow measurement products here at SIG. Today we would like to have a closer look about the commissioning of our gas flow meter FlowSIG 500 via the display. Before we get started with the commissioning, all the steps described in Chapter 3, Installation of the Operating Instructions, must be completed. If stipulated by national regulations, all measures that interfere with the metrologically relevant parameters, the commissioning may be carried out under official supervision. This must be coordinated with the authorities before carrying out actions which needs to be based on the operating instructions. The commissioning of the FlowSIG 500 is normally performed in the following sequence. Step 1 is to log in as user level authorized user or higher. Second step will be to set the time and date and the third step will be to check the device status. For gas flow meters with the option volume conversion you have to perform additionally commissioning steps. The first step will be to log in to the device with a desired user level. In our case we require at least authorized user. Therefore we will call up the menu function user. We will press enter to start the edit mode. We will need to use the arrow buttons to select and navigate the desired user level. We will confirm with enter and the cursor now blinks under the first position of the password. To enter the password, we need to use the arrow buttons to increment or decrement the first position of the password by 1 until the correct digit is shown. Confirm with Enter. The cursor now blinks under the second position of the password. We will repeat for the remaining positions of the password and now you are logged in with the selected user level after the last position of the password is confirmed. After you have successfully logged in to the device, the next step will be to set time and date. Time and date of the meter needs to be set after the power supply has been connected. The FlowSIG 500 will display an error called time invalid until the time and date has been set. In the first step, make sure that you are logged in. After that is done, switch to the system settings submenu in the FlowSIG 500. Call up date. Press enter to start the edit mode. The cursor now blinks under the first position of the date. Use the arrow buttons to increment or decrement the selected position by 1 until the correct digit is shown. Confirm with enter. The cursor now blinks under the second position of the date. Repeat the remaining positions. The date is saved when you confirm the last position with enter. Now switch to the menu time. Use the arrow buttons to increment or decrement the first position of the time by 1 until the correct digit is shown. Repeat this for the remaining positions. The time is saved when you confirmed the last position with Enter. If the meter has got the option volume conversion, we need to set some fixed values. Those fixed values must be set to the operating conditions of the FlowSIG 500. To do this, you need to perform the following steps. Make sure you are locked into the meter. Start the configuration mode. In the FlowSIG 500 menu, switch to the sub-menu Pressure Parameters or Temperature Parameters. Select the view P Fixed Value or T Fixed Value. Press Enter to start the edit mode. The cursor now blinks under the first position of the parameter. Use the arrow buttons to increment or decrement the selected position by 1 until the correct digit is shown. Confirm with Enter. The cursor now blinks under the second position of the parameter. Repeat for all remaining positions of the parameter. The fixed value is saved when you confirm the last position with Enter. Now our next step will be to check the interface configurations of the meter. The FlowSIG 500 will be delivered already configured according to customer specifications. It is recommended to check the custody relevant parameters, which can be found in the parameter report delivered with each FlowSIG 500. Please compare those parameters against the current configuration on the display. Now we need to configure the gas composition. 
Make sure you are logged into the device and start the configuration mode. Switch to the submenu Conversion Gas Composition in the FlowSig 500 menu. Set the parameters to characterize the gas to be measured according to the selected K number calculation method. Note that the gas composition configuration may only be changed once per day. More frequent changes may damage the internal memory of the FlowSig 500. Last but not least, we need to make sure that the meter is in an error-free operating status. For this purpose, we need to log in as authorized user. Check whether warnings or errors are shown in the symbol bar of the display. If warnings or more functions exist, change the few current events on the main display. Clear existing more functions and warnings. Contact SIG customer service for any more functions you cannot clear yourself. The event overview can be reset when all warnings and errors have been cleared. To finish the commissioning of the FlowSig 500, there is a possibility to connect to the meter by using our user software Flowgate. In Flowgate, it is possible to create a parameter report after the commissioning is done. We have reached the end of our video and I would like to thank you for your attention. If you have any open questions, please feel free to get in contact with your local SIG subsidiary. Please refer to our user manuals and operating instructions. Thank you for choosing SIG and stay healthy. See you next time.